Hello student, welcome back. Digital Image Processing, Shongita Rai, Assistant Professor, Electronics and Communication Engineering Department, Narula Institute of Technology. Content, Segmentation of Digital Images, Detection of Discontinuities, Age Linking and Boundary Detection. point, line, and edge detection. The focus of segmentation methods are based on detecting sharp local changes in intensity. The three types of image features in which we are interested are isolated points, lines, and edges. Edge pixels are pixels at which the intensity of an image function changes abruptly and edges or edge segments are sets of connected edge pixels. Edge detectors are local image processing methods designed to detect edge pixels. A line may be viewed as an edge segment in which the intensity of the background on either side of the line is either much higher or much lower than the intensity of the line pixels. Lines give rise to so-called roof edges. Similarly, an isolated point may be viewed as a line whose length and width are equal to one pixel. Local averaging smooths an image. Given that averaging is an analogous to integration, it should come as no surprise that abrupt local changes in intensity can be detected using derivatives for reasons that will come evident. First and second order derivatives are particularly well suited for this purpose. Derivatives of a digital function are defined in terms of differences. There are various ways to approximate these differences, but we require that any approximation used for a first derivative one must be zero in areas of constant intensity, number two must be non-zero at one set of the intensity step or ramp, and three must be non-zero at points along an intensity map. Similarly, an approximation used for a second derivative one must be zero in areas of constant intensity. Number two must be non-zero at onset and end of an intensity step or ramp. Number three must be zero along intensity maps. Because we are dealing with digital quantities whose values are finite, the maximum possible intensity change is also finite and the shortest distance over which a change can occur is between adjacent pixels. We obtain an approximation to the first order derivative at a point x of a one dimensional function fx by expanding the function by a small increment del x fx plus del x. According to Taylor's series, Letting del x equal to 1 and keeping only the linear terms, the result is the following equation. Del f del x is equal to f dash x, f x plus 1 minus f x. We used a partial derivative here for consistency in notation when we consider an image function of two variables f x y, at which we will be dealing with partial derivative along two special axes x and y. Clearly, del f del x is equal to del f del x when f is a function of only one variable. Now, we obtain an expression of the second derivative when the uh, for second derivative. So, del square f del x square is equal to del square f dash x del x that is to f dash x plus 1 minus f dash and corresponding expanding it to it tends to f x plus 2 minus fx plus 1 minus fx plus 1 plus fx that is equal to fx plus 2 minus twice fx plus 1 plus fx where the second line follows from the previous equation the expansion is about point x plus 1 our interest in on the second derivative about point x so we can use the reformed equation as del square f del x square is equal to f double dashed x same meaning is equal to fx plus 1 plus x, x minus 1 minus twice fx. Now see carefully this equation. Center point is x 
and it is oscillate around the point f x minus 1 and f x plus 1. Therefore, it is between two adjacent pixel. That is very important here to note. It is verified from the previous equation that the condition stated at the beginning regarding derivatives of the first and second order. Now by this picture it will be clear. Now in this picture A is the first picture that is the main picture. Now it is intensity profile is shown in figure in uh, B, figure B and in figure C how simplified profile means it is showing how the pixel intensity changes and corresponding intensity profile changes. In the first strip, image strip, it is showing that intensity is 55432100 and so on. So if we take the first derivative, therefore, uh, the 5250 5, that is it is starting from 5 and 4 this point. So 5 to 4, therefore it is uh, descending, therefore it is minus 1. 4 to 3 again minus 1, 3 to 2 again minus 1, 2 to 1 again minus 1, 1 to 0 it is again minus 1 but 0 to 0 no change as it is going on. Now the second derivative minus 1 to previously it was uh, no change so, so it was previously 0 so 0, 0 to minus 1 is equal to minus 1, minus 1 to minus 1 it is 0 minus 1 minus 1 to 0 and so on then again it is minus 1 to 0 it is increasing so it is plus 1 means 1 so where there is a sharp change see that is a isolated that is a ramp so it is a constant changing so first derivative will give you as it is a downward so it is showing minus but second derivative will be 0 and when there is no changing so it will be again 0 but when there is this for us single sharp change that is isolated point that is it is sh showing as sharp value minus 12 then it is 6 and it is again 6 so when there is a isolated point that point is in both sides there is a very low value and that isolated point is sharp increased whereas if there is a edge it is constant decreasing or increasing so for the second derivative that gives you zero that is the main point if there is a noisy picture element or sharp one pixel because age is not one pixel age is a continuous change whereas a sparse point or a isolated point is obviously noise it is not a particular point in the image it may be a noisy image or it is a fault Next, the approach of choice for computing first and second order derivative at every pixel location in an image. For 3 into 3 filter mask is showing over there. So the weight is W1, W2, W3, W4 as this is already shown at the time of filter lecture. But still it is again explaining. So these are the weights. So after averaging what will be the mask final value at that point that is equal to weight into that intensity and summation that gives the response of this mask at the center point. Detection of isolated point as already I have discussed in the previous slide when it, it is isolated point then both sides will be very low value and that isolated point in the second derivative will give you a negative value very sharp negative value whereas ramp will give you second derivative a zero value. For point detection, we based on the Laplacian del square fx is equal to del square f del x square plus del square f del, x, del y square in case of a two variable function. For the partial uh, variable, we obtain by uh, putting the values. The Laplacian values are coming. The del square f x y is equal to f x plus 1 y plus f x minus 1 y plus f x y plus 1 f x y minus 1 minus 4 f x y. Now this is showing a point detection using Laplace mask. Laplace mask is the center point is very negative as already we have discussed. So first point is a 
mask and the number b figure b shows x ray image of a turbine blade number c result of convolving mask with this laplacian mask so convolving this we are getting c picture c but we are not very clearly getting what it is intended but if we use a single point means if we use means if we threshold particular value then we are getting the exact point what we are want the sparse single point from here therefore though it is not clearly shown in the first picture but by operating it with the laplacian mask then thresholding it we are getting the object of identification that is a point that is isolated point by using thresholding technique thresholding technique is nothing but giving a threshold value above which it would be white and below which it will be black so it is nothing but binary image now line detection the next level of complexity is line detection based on the discussion we know that for line detection we can accept second derivative to result in a stronger response and to produce thinner lines than first derivative thus we can use the laplacian mask in the previous figure for line detection also how can it be say in the first figure it is a original image b is its laplacian and it is showing highlighting that point that point shows after laplacian it gives three uh, three region one is white another is dark black or black and in between there is gray what does it indicate that indicates the white point indicates the main the intensity and the black indicates its second derivative and in between the pixel is showing by gray now we have to take the one value out of this how it can be because it gives positive value negative value as well as zero value zero values are gray positive values are white and black values are negative values so we have to take the magnitude of this so if you take the magnitude of the laplacian operator we will get the figure c and if we take the positive values we will get the figure d so this is a laplacian detection mask with horizontal mask if it is horizontal mask this is the left one first one if it is 45 degree means we want to uh, find diagonal element diagonal line then we have to use 45 degree angle then we have to use the second one if we want vertical edge then we have to use this mask and if we want minus 40 degree means slope is negative then we have to use the fourth mask edge model image of a wire bond template this is a particular template original image b is the result of processing with 45 degree line c is zoomed viewed of the top and uh, d is the zoomed view of the bottom now e the image in b with negative values if we take the negative values of that we will get this e and f all points if we take by using thresholding a uh, thresholding value with a particular value we will get figure f now this is a intensity profile so how it is showing by intensity profile this picture first dark black then white then black then intensity is changing slowly gray to white and then both side are black and in between white and gray shade so corresponding below row is showing its intensity profile when there is a sharp change the intensity profile will be step whereas if the profile changes slowly gradually it will be ramp and in between if it is a edge both side will be ramp two regions of constant intensity it is showing how it is looking by intensity profile detail near the edge is more detail and if you go further it will detail will be lessening now it is another figure that is showing different type of edges contaminated with noise first figure is showing with standard deviation zero mean that indicates almost no noise 
second one is noise with standard deviation 0 0.1 third one is 1 1.0 and fourth one is 10.0 as the noise standard deviation increases the edge sharp but in between the values becomes noisier so as the noise is more corrupted on the sharp portion edge are little bit not so corrupted but as the standard deviation increases edge are also corrupted slowly that is the main choice of main uh, main main thrust area of image processing and edge detection or any type of smoothing or sharpening that is the thrust area that is everyone or every researcher is uh, chasing after this so these are the references thank you this is all of the day we will meet you soon